and just kind of make a nice little finial, something pretty easy. You can get as elaborate. This is pretty short, so I can't get too wild with it. Um, whereas cherry, and probably go thinner than I do on some. This is, in some ways, a good way to practice your finials too. So let's turn it off, see what we think. I think we got a little bit of a hard edge right here. I think it looks pretty good. A little bit of a crack, but that's not going to be a problem. And we'll need to clean, I'll try to clean this up a little bit through here and then straighten up the top. Okay, now to clean the top, we just come in with the top of the skew and cut that off. Right? <clears throat> Throw the rest out of the way. Uh, sandpaper is just another tool, so you want to make sure it's sharp. It's a little bit used, but it's still sharp enough. Um, we can refine our shape down a little bit. feel this with my finger because I can feel better than my eyes can see. Uh, you can see I got a catch. I need to sand those guys out. Darn it. In fact, those are deep enough. I'm going to switch over. I'm going to clean that up with spindle gouge. to 20. The better we do here in the sanding, the better the finish looks. So if we can get a nice clean surface, and even if we can get it glossy now, then when we finish it, it usually the finish usually adds to the gloss rather than taking away. But if we get it nice and 
I'm looking now. And later, <coughs> I'm going to steal wool, garnish it up a little bit. Is it already starting to shine a little bit? Okay, that looks good. Um, take a little... Got a bottle, this is just lacquer that's been thinned down a paper towel and just put it on with friction I'll help polish it up don't take much Okay, and then there's our body. I think that looks rather nice. It's got some cracks, but um, I don't know, for me, adds a little bit. So there's the body for a little birdhouse. Got a place for the perch, a place for the bird. Cute little finial on the bottom. And Okay, last year when I did these birdhouses, I got the most uh, comments, compliments, likes, whatever, on the natural edge. This is a little piece of mulberry branch that came off the tree over the winter. So we'll do a nice little mulberry top. First we're going to you know, build the bottom and kind of clean that up. Okay, that's the uh, bottom cleaned up. Now we're going to use these calipers to make the tenon that goes inside the body. So this will mark it. So that little mark there is where we need to this. So we'll undercut this that way the joint kind of sits up in here and you don't see it so much and as usual I made it too small seems like on these there's two sizes there's too big and too small I have a hard time getting the right. Not to worry, we just do this again and get that out of the way. Okay, now we're a little big. That's just right. Just a little squeak to it. Okay. So now what we want to do, just to uh, make it a little lighter, because we want this to sit on a tree sometime, and if they're too heavy, they weigh the tree down. I'm going to hollow this out a little bit. That doesn't have to be terribly accurate. 